Hello, and I've got another e-bike special for you today. We're gonna to look at the settings on the SW900 controller coming up next. So I built this e-bike using the Volomart 48 volt rear wheel 1000 watt kit, which comes with the SW900 controller. I know there are other kits out there that use it too. What I did find was some of the settings on it aren't particularly intuitive, and I thought it was well worth a quick chat about how to get into that settings mode, and then when you're in, what those settings actually mean. So let's dive in. So to turn it on, you just hold the M button on the separate controller and you can adjust the pedal assistance by using the arrows up and down. Um, currently I've got this set to five. You can actually change the number of settings if you wish, uh, but five certainly works well for me. So a long push on the up button will give you the light. Now you may not have a light connected, but if you do, that will turn that on. And again, if you push it again, it'll turn it off. Pushing the M switches between the uh, trip odometer and the main odometer and holding the bottom button down will make the bike move at walking pace. And the long push turns it off. Up and down together puts you into the program mode and this is where it all gets interesting. Background luminance is PO1, so if you change that up, it'll get the screen gets brighter. I'm quite happy with one. In fact, I find when I'm riding at night, that is definitely the better option because you don't get dazzled by it. Push the M to move through these, so Setting two is the unit of mileage. So we are set to two miles per hour, but if this was set to zero, it would be kilometers per hour. So we'll stay on miles per hour. Setting three is the voltage grade. And we're set at 48 volts because that is indeed what our battery is and our kit is. Setting four is the sleep time. Zero is no sleep. Other numbers stand for sleep time in minutes. So at the moment this is set, if we leave it for 10 minutes, it will turn itself off. Setting five is PAS grade. So this is how many grades we have. So if it's set to zero, it's three grades, and if it's set to one, it's five grades. Okay, this is the wheel size. So we're set to 26 inch, because that's the size of our wheel. So this is a speed measuring magnet range, and I think it's to do with how sensitive it is. So if you're having problems with that, that's the first place to look. This is the speed limit. Um, so right now I've set the speed limit at 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, if I hit that, I think I definitely won't want to go any faster. Um, but you can set it to lower amounts if you want to limit your speed. Okay, so this is zero start mode, and if you add it to zero, it's a zero start, and if it's one, it's a non-zero start. So if you want to pull away using a throttle, you need this at zero. If you only want the throttle to be used when you're on the move, then it is one. Driving mode. So this is zero is just pedal assist, one is just throttle, and two is throttle and pedal assist, although bear in mind you can't use them both at the same time, and there is a little bit of a delay if you come off the throttle and you are pedaling before the pedal assist kicks in. Right, this is pedal assist sensitivity. Now, um, I have this set at one, and that is the most sensitive, and I co that confused me initially. I thought the higher the number, the more sensitive, but no, the lower the number, the more sensitive the assistance. So, um, yeah, one works well for me, and in fact, if it's any higher than that, it doesn't work properly at all. Start strength is how strong the assistance kicks in. Uh, initially, when I built this kit, it was really very unsubtle. I've turned it out to, down to zero now, and it's actually perfect. Magnet types, uh, you've got three, eight, and 12. My setup is eight. Current limiting controller, this is the current that it's limited to. Currently we have it at 12 amps. Could have it up to 20 amps. And if we go to, this one's not, not used, 16. If you push and hold your up arrow, you will reset your odometer. Um, but I don't need to do that, so there you go. So as always, if this video has been useful, please do give me a like, hit that subscription and that notification bell, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.